Hi guys, and in today's video, it is all about a shot that you might not have realized you need in your game. It's the shoulder high forehand. This shot allows you to finish high balls from anywhere on the court and it prevents you from moving back behind the baseline and playing defensive balls. The common mistake players make on a high ball is they let it drop into their comfort zone, which prevents them from being able to attack anywhere on the court with pace. Once the ball drops, you have to hit up and over the net, which limits the amount of power and penetration you can get on your shot. This might give your opponent a chance to get back into the rally and extend the point. So first, let's have a look at the shot itself and how to execute it. So the key to this shot, it says it on the tin, is to arrive at the ball and take it at shoulder height. Um, this is because the ball is not high enough um, to smack, but it's making sure that you don't let it dip below your shoulder. This shot is played at the side of your body and the key is to prepare early with your racket high. You need to swing from shoulder to shoulder, almost like you're wrapping a scarf around your neck and then you wanna keep your strings level a horizontal rather than facing up or down this will ensure a horizontal flat trajectory um, and you can even hit slightly across the ball to create side spin to get the ball sliding away from your opponent if you find the ball flying out the back this is to do with one of either two things it might be that your swing path is low to high so maybe you've dropped the racket um, before hitting the ball um, or that the strings are too open um, and facing up um, which will send the ball flat out the back and vice versa if you find the ball is going in the net then it might be that your swing path is too high to low rather than shoulder to shoulder um, and that the strings might be facing too down towards the net this shot allows you to have a more attacking game and an aggressive style so rather than let the ball drop and play a neutral ball back extending the rally you can now step up to the ball um, and you can force an error or, or even a winner and you could even come to the net off the back of this if you've got your opponent in, into trouble. So there you have it guys. I wanted to touch on this shot because I feel it's a shot that not many people have in their armory, um, but it would improve your game as a whole and get you playing more on the front foot. Too often I see players get this kind of ball, but rather than take it early at shoulder height and create um, an attacking scenario, they let the ball drop and continue the rally. Let me know in the comments below if this is a shot you have already in your armory and whether you like to use this in matches or let me know if this is something new that you'd like to add to your game and you feel it will really benefit your performance. Make sure you check out my other videos. I've dealt with a similar topic on the backhand side, how you can take the ball more aggressive and prevent having to defend against high balls on the backhand. Um, uh, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.